So here's some first thoughts as I'm out here doing my lady thing. <laughs> that, that sounds funny, my lady thing. I'm taking a day. I'm going, I went off the grid and I'm enjoying the beautiful gym of Belle Isle with um, some friends, some fellow women. We are off the grid. And when we got here early this morning, they were, a crew was setting up. And of course, oh shoot, I was not trying to show y'all who I was with. Scratch who you just saw. <laughs> Scratch that from the record. I'm like, yeah. so, <laughs> I'm like, so they were setting up. And of course, we are intelligent women, empowered women. We know who we are and whose we are. So we had no problem asking them what they were doing here on our beautiful Belle Isle Park. And they politely informed us that they were with the Michigan Democratic Party. So we watched them set up all day. Good job. Cameras, lights, action. We didn't know what it was for. We saw the Michigan sign and the cameras are facing uh, the Ambassador Bridge. And it's facing the um, beautiful um, Detroit Renaissance. So you can see the Detroit Renaissance. You guys can't see it there. I'm trying to show you, I'm trying to make my click. So it's just so interesting to me and what people are so completely tired of in this world of politics is that once they finished setting up and getting all the angles, then came Senator Gary Peters and state representative. What was his name? Joe what? Joe Tate. And they were all, you know, taping the commercial. And we were less than maybe what, 200 feet from them? And they did their spiel. You'll see it tomorrow because the convention starts. And Gary Peters politely finished recording. He and Tate, who I think has already been reelected. And he looked straight at the ground and beelined to his car as a group of black women are sitting here. There's another group of Middle Eastern people, because I think they're in his, they're his constituents too, a family, about four mothers, children, just a variety of people. You're running for reelection. John James, though his mouth is crusty, is, is on your ass. How dare you? How dare you, career politician, not look around at the people? not walk around this crowd and say, hi, I'm your state senator, I'm run, I'm your senator. Ain't but, a, what, two, how many, 50 per state, two per state, 100 of y'all, government 101. Ain't but 100 of y'all. He almost took out Stabenow. Now these were Trump, 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 whatever they are, trumpets. They coming for y'all and your democratic butts need to wake up. Don't take us for granted. That's how he got in, the Russians really, but how he got in was people being fed up with the system. How dare you not walk around to your constituents and say that you're running for re-election? Cause I see Krusty James more than I see you on television. And so I'm going viral to my hundred people that subscribe <laughs> on YouTube. And it's growing though, but in all seriousness, cause I know you guys like my humor too. In all seriousness, he should have done that. It would not have taken 15 minutes out of his day to say, I am your senator and I would hope, I, I would like to remain in that position. Now I'm gonna have to think about it. Vote. 